we were chased away by the Chinese in charge. Don't touch me. Get out. Get out from over here, they run out. Get out. Don't touch me. Get out. Yeah. Because of this company, there is a, a quarry up there which they start digging some years back, but now it is waterlogged and they make a drainage which is just short drainage up there. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you are watching from. This is Africa Trends TV. I bring you another story on the rate at which the Chinese are invading and destroying our land. But before I proceed, kindly subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you could get any latest video I post. There is this village in Kenya by name Awindo. This place or this land is rich in gold. But the residents of this village are really suffering. Their water bodies being polluted. Their soil on which they plant is no longer fertile. Their houses have developed cracks because of random stone explosives and blasting by these Chinese as far as mining is concerned. The residents have protested against it. When the media confronted these Chinese nationals, these Chinese nationals drove the media away that they have done nothing wrong. Where are the authorities? How can a foreigner come into a strange land to do business and disregard the inhabitants of that land? You can't go to China and do that in China. Africa, let's wake up. Let us wake up because it's becoming unbecoming. This, these people are taking too much privilege of a lot of things. Let's watch the video. This was the situation here. Bolotuchi village addressed them in the window constituency to, to the stress of demanding the closure of a Chinese ballast company to save their farmlands and homes from more damage, which they say have been caused by powerful explosives that have left their walls cracked. They lit a bonfire at the gate of the company. So when the blasting is being done, the stone, I mean, stone erupts from those places and they get thrown very far. And some gets into some houses. We are sleeping in water. If you go down there, homes which are surrounding here, they are logged, water logged. People are crying because of this company. There is a, a quarry up there which they start digging some years back. But now it is waterlogged and they make a drainage, which is just a short drainage up there. Then they left it somewhere up. If you come down here, there is no any drainage. So that water is penetrating. Kwa sababu mtoto mdogo hauta mkataza kila wakati ya sicheze nje, lakini pindi anapoenda kuchiza nile majichafu, anapata maradhi katika muli wake. Na maneno haya hata wakiambiwa hawachukulia tuwa yoyote. Hini mawe. In the village, houses have their roofs torn apart and windows shattered. According to locals, some of the storm blasted that the quarry have landed in the people's houses, damaging household items. Even Odiambo lives in fear, he is not sure how long his house will stand with the huge cracks on the wall. Baruti ndiye me nini ndiye me kwanya hii nyumba iwe na mina hii. Hii ikona cracks paka ndani ukiangalia ndani. Hii inaenda kuanguka. Hii nyumba kubwa hii. Kuna maali naweza enda. Kalia hivi. Hii sasa ndiyo jikoni. Hii ni maji kutoka China. Maji kwa hapa. Hii ni maji. Kila nenda wanoka. According to George Ocheno, his farm that used to be fertile, producing good yield, is now full of ballast stones. In Samba, Sasa Samba ilikuwa mbaya sana. At atoki yata maindi visuri kwa hiko koto na maji. Ukiangalia Samba, Samba hiko mawe. Kisema imejana oil na kila kitu itakataka kutoka hapa China. 
Junaomba serikali ya Miguri County akuje wasaidie. Well after twin the whole village witnessing the extent of the damage caused by Chiku Chinese ballast company we decided to seek for some clarification from the body concerned but what devastated us most on our arrival we were chased away by the Chinese in charge saying that they have wronged nobody despite the danger they have exposed the local sea to Don't touch me Get out ukitoka polisi anakuja Afisa wana China, China amemaliza tu. Kesoe ukienda hakuna story. Unasema tu weenda, weenda. We also have got a complaints from the members of the public and we have foreseen we have gone round the houses have had problems. We have seen the drainage system is very poor. It has been the it has been uh, overworked. Uh, the residents now want the company to compensate them for the damage. They are blasting, they don't care. The big stones which are going to the other chamber, the other area, they are not taken care of. So there is no any compensation they are doing within this area. 